So don't go straight to the reaction just yet because you might be confused. Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. I'm Bethany. And we're just a happy couple in love that loves reacting to some Halo. We do. Yes, and so we wanted to react to Halo Wars. We were originally going to react to the first Halo Wars, and we found this good video, Halo Wars movie by Game Clips. It had like, you know, three, three million views on it, and it's a really reputable channel. And then so we we're going to break it up into two parts because the video was like an hour long. When we watched the second half of the video, we realized that for some reason in this video, it's reversed. Halo Wars 2 comes first, and then Halo Wars 1. I don't know why they did it that way. Having seen it now, I don't think we miss out too much by seeing Halo Wars 2 versus Halo Wars 1. There's there's a little bit in the beginning when I, when one of the character the, the AI dies and like we don't really have that much of a reaction because we didn't get to know our personality until yeah. Halo Wars 1. Other than that, there's not I don't think there's that much that uh, we would have missed by having watched it in order, but that's why it's Halo Wars 2 instead of Halo Wars 1. 1 so, um, yeah, now you're going to see us do a, a quick costume change and, and do the reaction. <laughs> Should be simple enough to triangulate once we pick up a signal from the ground. 
Cover to Jerome. Reporting, Captain. Prep Spartan Red Team and a small recon squad. Professor Anders will send you the coordinates. I know who's sending that signal. Be on the ground within the hour. Travel light. Not that yet. Recon only. 28 years, Professor. Let's see what kind of galaxy we woke up to. I don't think it would be like a victory message if they sent it to you. It's probably a distress signal. Yeah, if it's encrypted like that. Yeah. It's, I don't know. That kind of encrypted like, congratulations, you're both encryption. We're partying here! <laughs> Here's the location for the detail for the after party. Probably not. Yeah. This is true. On the table, 10 o'clock. Small guys. Jeeps are tough to drive. This is a cool action sequence. Mm hmm. Seems. What happened down there? I need to know what we're up against. 
Isabel? Isabel, report. Sir, five months ago, the portal from the Ark to Earth shut down without warning. A month later, he arrived. He? What is his name? The Brute. Their leader. His name is Atriox. Cool man. Do you say uh, that's a good name? During the war, the Covenant used his clan as expendable muscle. Told them dying in battle would speed their holy journey. Forty at a time, they carelessly sent them in. Forty to break the front lines. Forty to die for beliefs not their own. And they'll never return. Until he did. And so battle by battle, war by war, 39 brothers at a time, Atriox was born. Cool origin story, 39 brothers at a time like the His legend and his hatred of the Covenant grew. Eventually, both were impossible to conceal. And they tried to banish him. And everything we know about the Covenant's thousand-year history. Atriox was the first to defy the Covenant and survive. Is it bad that I kind of like him? I mean, they're making him as a badass. And his defiance inspired others. Yeah. Well, I guess he's not into that whole the enemy of my enemy is my friend situation. <laughs> no, everyone's his enemy. Speed getting goosebumps. I see how and that is always worth fighting for. Yeah. Hoorah! Good effing speech, dude. Mm -hmm. 
And they're all rallied. Yeah. I mean, I might still be Team Atriox, but I, I don't know. It's just funny. Isabelle's facial expression was like, they're so screwed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep, she was. Lawnmower man style. Come on, Isabel. You got this. It's very cool visually, this one, this scene. Oh, for sure. Oh, 
she is pissed. Mm -hmm. Oh, suicide mission, okay. Hm. Oh my god. Good job, Isabel. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've been busy. <laughs> busy as you. The crab lift. What do we do? You. You hold on. Wait, what? <laughs> awesome. My God. <laughs>
That's impressive. Yeah. There you go. Good optimism. What the hell? Alright, so Atrox is a badass, I still like him, um, really like him as a villain, and um, like his sort of like origin story, I mean, the whole fact of he went out and he had watched like 39 of his uh, brothers die before he came back and finally had enough of the Covenant and uh, yeah, rebelled, so I mean, it's, it's a hard guy not to root for. Um, what'd you think? Not only did he rebel, but he rebelled and is the only one to ever survive. Yeah. I mean, so that just like, they are building him up right out the gate. Yeah. Um, well, and you just wipe the floor with three Spartans, just psh, psh, psh. I mean, he's, he's a big guy, too. Mm -hmm. I really liked it. I like Isabel's character. She seems like yeah. a badass. Um, I like the doctor, too. I'm, I'm a bit worried about her. <laughs> I don't know how she's going to fare with those giant alien... Oh, yeah. Professor Anders? Yeah. Yeah. Like Megatron things that she ran into at the end there. And I'm, I'm always curious, the more that we get to see of the Halos themselves just because the concept to me is so mm -hmm. interesting and, and kind of fun 
to explore those worlds. It was very impressive the way that Professor Anders was like, just from her sort of Iron Man table, she was able to like lift them up and chuck them. Yeah. Which is pretty impressive. Um, I really enjoyed these and I, and I like learning more about the Halo, Halo universe because we've enjoyed playing it. Agreed. And uh, the Captain Gray gave one of the best speeches, uh, you know, motivational speeches there. Um, it was, that was very well handled. And uh, even though these are cutscenes, you know, like they can be a little bit disjointed without uh, some gameplay in it, it still feels like the story is, uh, you know, fairly coherent, um, you know, go going through it and uh, experiencing what's going on in there. Um, some good action sequences, and we'll see what happens to the uh, brother, and, and, you know, it's I, I don't think it's going to be a good thing. I mean, it's pretty much to be like, if you screw up this one time, it's going to be both our heads, and I think they're both going to die in the next one. Well, he's a sunshiny optimist. If you want more of our Halo reactions, go ahead and check out the description of this video. We got the Halo reactions and our Halo playthrough um, for Halo uh, Combat Evolved and Halo 2. And just keep in mind that our reaction for Halo Wars Cutscenes Part 1 is definitely not definitive.